Welcome to this next in the series of EMC Data Protection Advisor version 6 videos, this one covering the discovery of EMC data domain. As always, please refer to the supporting documentation available at the link shown. Before commencing your discovery, please ensure that you have the correct DPA backup licenses for Avamar or Networker installed. These are administered through Admin, System, Manage Licenses. Data collection from data domain appliances may only be affected by a remote or proxy agent installation. That is, you may not install a DPA agent on the data domain appliance itself. For successful data collection from data domain appliances, both SNMP and SSH require the correct configuration. SNMP requires port 161 to be enabled on the DD appliance, and the SNMP community string needs to be set correctly. This may require a recycling of SNMP on the data domain. The public community string is provided as default in DPA. If an alternate community string is used, the data domain credential in DPA must be edited. SNMP is known to be sensitive to network lag, and therefore the DPA agent should be installed close to the data domain appliance. For SSH, DPA requires that port 22 be enabled on the data domain appliance and that the SSH username and password configured on the DD appliance be provided to DPA. Editing of those credentials, if required, may be effected through the Admin System Manage Credentials tab in the DPA UI. So let's go straight ahead and discover a data domain appliance from the DPA UI. Starting then on the console of the data domain appliance, Logging in as sysadmin, let's first of all issue the SNMP show ro-communities command. This shows us that we already have the public community string, but with no hosts defined. So let's then issue the SNMP add ro-community public hosts and the address of the DPA agents we are using. Confirming the addition, we are shown that indeed the host has been added. Let's now recycle SNMP with the disable enable commands. And one final check that our DPA agent's host has been added to the public string or community. So leaving our data domain console behind, let's now go to the DPA UI into the inventory object library just to confirm that we do not have an entry for the data domain we are discovering, which will appear above this EMC disk library because we will be discovering it by IP address. We can, if we wish, run the discovery wizard from this particular panel, from the button shown, but let's go through the usual route of the admin system run discovery wizard button. Being data domain, we shall find this under the Protection Storage heading and we'll check EMC Data Domain and click Next. We can elect to discover multiple objects simultaneously and this can be done by using a CSV formatted file. But for this demonstration, we'll just discover one object manually. So we'll click Next. Here we should enter the IP address or resolvable hostname of the Data Domain object with any aliases we wish to add. And we must then select or modify the credentials required for SNMP and SSH. So let's do this. We'll first of all check our SNMP credential. In this window we have only SNMP credentials and we'll select the EMC data domain credential. Let's edit this and we see that the community string is already populated, in this case with public. And now for the SSH credential. So we'll click on Select Credential, this time listing out standard credentials, and we'll select the data domain credential here and select Edit. Partially populated with the username sysadmin, we can then provide the appropriate password for this user ID. Our credentials now being complete, we can now continue on to 
test the connection using the credential specified. The test is successful and we can move on. By default, DPA will place any data domain object into the EMC data domain group. However, because I've discovered EMC data domains previously of different versions, I wish to place this data domain into a specific group. So let's click Add Destination Group. Selecting Groups, Configuration, Storage, Disk Storage, EMC Data Domain. We now find that I have three groups, DDoS 5.1, DDoS 5.2 and DDoS 5.4. This new data domain is a DDoS 5.4. So I'll select this group. I only require it to be in one group, so I'll remove it from the originally specified EMC data domain group, leaving just the DDoS 5.4. We may at this stage configure certain custom attributes, but this is not mandatory and may be done at a later stage. So we'll skip this step. I get a summary screen and I may click finish and close the wizard. Let's just now check for inclusion of the DD appliance within the inventory and we can see its inclusion here. Right click on the appliance, select properties and we get the properties panel of this appliance. Let's go straight to data collection. Here are our data collection requests. We'll select a request and run it. Turning to the history, we can see the request that we have just run has been successful. So let's go straight to a report to see the outcome of this request. Going to reports, we'll drill down to the appliance we have just discovered under disk storage. Here is our device or object and we'll select an appropriate report. Run in a new tab and select the tab and here is our output regarding the exports of the DD appliance. Can run a second report showing the file system status also. We've just taken a brief look at the discovery of the EMC Data Domain Appliance using EMC Data Protection Advisor version 6. Thank you for watching.